guys, so welcome back to my channel. I only have half of a face on right now because Jane Ardell Holiday has officially launched on Harbin House. I have all three of the kind of holiday collection pieces and I'm going to use those to complete my makeup today so that y'all can see them all in action, see what's being offered. I'll let you know how much they are. I feel like the holiday season has officially started when the Jane Ardell holiday launches. <laughs> So it is officially started for me. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the Reflections bag, the makeup bag. And I do feel like they kind of bring out a different bag every year. This one, from my recollection, is my favorite. I absolutely love this color. It's a deep emerald kind of jewel teal green. Absolutely beautiful. And it's got the pink Jane Iredell little zipper. Very pretty bag, holds way more than you would think it would. And if you are getting gifts, it's a great little add-on. You put the gifts in and then give it just like this. I would love that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about as far as makeup goes is the Reflections Face Palette. I didn't say, the bag is $20. Now, keep in mind, I do have a discount code at Harbin House, so all of these are retail prices and you can get an additional 20% off. Now, the Reflections Face Palette is $54 and it includes four eyeshadows right here. There is Elegance right over here, which they say is like a finishing powder, but I'll show you as we go. It could also be used as a highlight. And then this is Passion, which is the blush slash eyeshadow, because y'all know, I use blush as eyeshadow all the time, and I have used this as eyeshadow and it works great. I also wanted to show you how Passion in the face palette compares to Sunset, which is a permanent blush color within the Jane Ardell blush collection. So this right here, they are pretty similar with a little bit of a difference. This right here is Passion from the palette, and then this is Sunset. So it may be hard to decipher on camera, but Passion has a little bit more reddish pink to it, where Sunset has a little bit more of a like warmer orange tone to it. Now, they are very similar, but to my eye, I can see a bit of a difference. But I did want to comment on that because when I first opened this palette, I was like, oh wow, this reminds me of Sunset. So I'm gonna start out using Curiosity, which is this shade right here on my Refer 16 brush, and just use this as a crease color. This is also really pretty all over the eye if you're wanting to do a more matte look. This does pull cooler in tone, and I'll swatch all of them together in a minute. You see this on my finger? I was putting something back in my vanity like right before I started filming, and I don't even know what it caught on, but it cut my finger. Man, it's small but mighty. It stings. That moment when you're using the mirror and you're like, man, maybe this isn't the best mirror. It's kind of fuzzy. And then you realize you haven't taken the protector off. Much better without that. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you before I forget. So there's two matte shadows and two shimmer shades. And these are the shades right here. So you have kindness, which is more of like a beigey brown, pretty light. It's the lightest of all the shades. And then this is Curiosity, which is what I just used in my crease. Up here is Tenacity, which is a pretty purple shimmer. And right there is Courage, which is the shade I'm gonna use next. And if you can see, it looks a lot lighter swatched than it does in the pan. This is, let me get that mirror out of the way. This is Courage right there. So it looks, to me, darker in the pan than it does swatched. In fact, when I first used it on the eyes, I was a little surprised at how much lighter it was. I was expecting like a bronze and it's more of like a gold. So I am gonna take that shade next on a flat shader brush and apply that to my lid. And it does come off, it's weird. It kind of comes off a little bit darker on the eye than it does when I swatch it on my hand. But I would say it, it is a pretty bronzy gold shade. Yesterday I used this palette and I used Passion for my under eye kind of smoke out shade. And it probably wouldn't have been one that I picked on any other day, like if it wasn't in the same face palette, face palette because this is definitely warm and this crease color is definitely cool, but it worked. It actually, I kind of actually really enjoyed the contrast of it. But today I'm gonna use Tenacity, whoop, 
oops, this really pretty purple color, and use that as kind of a pop of color on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna start out with this little bit of a fluffier brush, which I actually kind of like that effect. So if I don't poke my eye out, I was thinking Maybe I'd go in with a more detailed brush to really have that like punch of color, but I actually like this effect. It's a very subtle, when you smoke it out like this, it's a very subtle purple. When you use a smaller brush or if you use that on your lid with like a shader brush, it's definitely gonna be more of a pop of purple, but I kind of like how this is going. We will come back to the face palette, but the last thing I wanna do on the eyes is actually part of a different set. And this is the, Reflections Makeup Kit, and this retails for $44. And when you, I love all these jewel tones. I just think they're so pretty. When you open it, you have three different products inside, none of which are like new or limited edition. You have the cream highlight stick, and this is in the shade Solstice. And I'm gonna get mine that I already have out because I don't wanna mess that up in case I wanna give it as a gift as well. But this is Solstice and it is a pretty like champagne highlight even though it's I, I really like how it works it looks kind of white in the tube but once you blend it out it looks more of like a goldish champagne it has a mini of the illuminating smooth affair primer which i love and i use that often i'm not a big primer person myself but i use that often in my kit and then this is what we're going to use as a final step of the eye. It is kind of a little mini of the 24 karat gold dust shimmer powder, which is not a new product by any means, but it definitely fits kind of the theme of this box. So what I'm gonna do is take some of that in the lid. I'm gonna take that same shader brush that I used. I'm just gonna take it on the other side and then a little bit of some pomist hydration spray. I'm going to spray the brush, pick up a little bit of that gold dust powder and just amplify the sheen on the eye just a little bit by pressing that in. So you can use this again as a topper, which I really like to do. You can use it all by itself. You could use it on the face. Now it is very shimmery. So if you use it on the face, know that to begin with. My favorite place to wear this is definitely the eyes. But you could also mix it in with some moisturizer and use it on the decollete, and that makes a very pretty, kind of more natural looking, highlighted chest and shoulder area. But I just like that little extra pop that it gives the eye look. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is part of the holiday collection or if it's just a limited edition launch that's coming out around the same time, but this is the Just Kiss Lip and Cheek Stain, and it, it is in a limited edition shade, I cannot speak, called Forever You. And this is $32. Now, I don't give enough love to these on my channel, so I'm not quite even sure if I've used them before, maybe on my lips, but that's not how I'm gonna use this one today, at least not right now. I'm going to use it as a cheek stain. And this is it, looks just like a, almost like kind of a balm. In fact, it is clear and it's one of those ones that mixes with your chemistry and provides like a really pretty pink and they have one in pink in this lip lip and cheek stain but this shade is a little bit different it's a little bit poppier in my opinion and i think it's really pretty now i want to show you how easy it is to use on the cheeks i have my favorite combination of the hydro pure tinted serum and then the pure press base on top as my base today i've used the jane ardell bronzer but i don't have blush or highlight so you can do this kind of one of two ways you can put the product directly onto like a few of your fingers just kind of paint it on you can see it's already turning a pink and then just tap it onto the cheeks which is probably my favorite way to do it because I feel like I get more of an even coverage that way versus striping it on the cheeks like I'll do on the other side you can just go in and kind of paint the cheeks and then very quickly take your fingers and kind of blend it out that way but it gives this really pretty kind of you can see that like hydrated glow to the cheek while also giving some color now you can continue to build this up if you want but i will show you my fingers and how this is truly a stain so if you use this 
on your cheeks or on your lips. It's going to be there for quite a long time, which is good if you are someone who enjoys their makeup to last. And despite the fact that I have on a powder foundation, this did not mess it up during application. So that is the Lip and Cheek Stain in Forever You. Now, I am not going to be using the highlighter stick that I just showed you because this cheek stain gives such a pretty glow. And I do want to kind of show you this Elegance Finishing Powder. Now, I have not used this full transparency as a finishing powder. When I first swatched it, like it's white, first of all, which it, I mean, it blends in. But if I were to use this, you can see all over the face, it would probably be a little too light for me to use as a powder. Now, if you wanted to touch up maybe your under eyes with it to give a little bit of brightness, but you can see, I took that other highlighter off, by the way, so this was a bare hand. You can see it has a little bit of a sheen to it, right? So when I first swatched it and saw that, I was like, I'm gonna try it for more of a subtle highlight. And that's how I prefer to use it, just as a little bit of that, you know, added highlight on the upper cheekbones, which again, you don't really need when you're using this lip stain, but you can see it's it's really quite pretty. If you're someone who really maybe doesn't like wearing an intense highlight, it's something that can definitely be built up and I did build it up. It doesn't have to be as intense as this, but I kind of like the effect that it gives. So that is pretty much like all but a couple of shades in this being used. I'm gonna cut away and do my mascara and then we will come back and talk about the last gift set in the Jane Ardell Holiday Collection. The last gift in the Holiday Collection is the Reflections Lip Gloss Kit. So again, very pretty jewel green teal, very similar to the makeup bag. And this is a kit that contains three mini lip glosses. So these are not full size. These are the Hydra Pure lip gloss. So this comes with two permanent colors, Candied Rose and Mocha Latte. And then Ripe Berry is a limited edition color that is only exclusive to this kit. So I will swatch all of them for you. The thing that I feel like needs to be said if you have never tried the Hydra Pure lip glosses is that they are not super opaque. In fact, they are even less opaque than their original lip glosses. So when you see like a deep dark color, it's not something that I feel like you need to be like, oh my goodness, no way, because it's not going to translate that way on the lips, which you will definitely see in these swatches. Okay, so this is Candied Rose right here. In the middle, you have Mocha Latte, which just as an example, this is what it looks like in the tube. So, I mean, you can see some color in that and it really comes off very, very, very nude and a little bit sheer. And then this is Ripe Berry, which is the limited edition color, which is a really pretty, almost grape type of shade. So I think I'm going to use Candied Rose to finish off this look. That is the final look using all of the products from the Jane Ardell Holiday Collection. As always, I will have them listed below. I get all of my Jane Ardell from Harbin House, always have and forever will. And I do have a coupon code with them. So check that out as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure and like and subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.